And many people are taking to them. In fact, I am myself. I'm just beginning to find out about houseplants. One of my favorites are aeoniums. The beauty of these, of course, are that you can put them outdoors in the summer, then bring them indoors as the weather gets colder. One key thing to remember for aeoniums, in fact, all houseplants, is don't overwater them. You're going to kill them with kindness, much more than just letting them keep fairly dry. Anyway, Arit has been to meet a man who knows more than a thing or two about the power of houseplants for our mental and also our physical well-being. Houseplants have undergone a revolution in popularity in the last 18 months. And it's no wonder, with so many of us working from home, greening up our indoor spaces has felt more important than ever. Here in the Great Pavilion, David Dominey has an exhibit to teach us how to grow indoor plants. David, the exhibit looks amazing, I have to say, well done. And I think it's going to really help people to understand that important question, why are indoor plants so important for us? Yeah. Well, as a human species, we're, we're hardwired into being connected with nature. And the sight of green calms us. It reduces the cortisol within the body, which is a stress hormone. But it's really important, isn't it, to understand why these plants are so good for us because you know a lot of people sort of shy away from them yeah it's about choosing the right house plants there's a lot of very very easy to keep ones that if we have a good positive experience growing uh, then it, it gives us encouragement and, and and becomes a hobby there are so many plants that help our mind but also make us happy too now just over here i've got a display just for happy plants great this particular section here are some of my little favourites. <laughs> I mean, regarding it, the moment I smell this, I think of tropical holidays. Go so on, have a. It is just the most exquisite. And I also like the steady movement. There's a lovely bathroom plant. You yeah. blow on it, you see the fluttering of the foliage, almost like lots of uh, uh, little butterflies. And plants also have that physical um, benefit, don't they? About you know, the actual way that they help the environment that we're in. Absolutely, it's a quality of the air. You know, inside our room, certainly during the autumn and winter when our windows are closed, there's a build-up of toxins from antiperspirants, cleaning products. Many plants have the ability, some more than others, to be able to neutralise those. Some plants will actually remove trichloroethylene than a lot of those toxins. But of course, they also produce oxygen, which makes us feel better and again helps our minds to work. I certainly need that. <laughs> plenty of, need plenty that. of oxygen and wine. That's the secret. If you were going to pick one plant to start off with, with house plants, which one would you recommend? Well, it's got to be an orchid. Totally beautiful. They're not as difficult to keep as you first think because on, on a brightly lit windowsill, bathroom, never let them sit in water. Certainly worth giving them a go. David, I think the exhibition's brilliant and uh, it's, you're going to be busy because <laughs> people are going to really want to engage and understand more about these plants. So thank you. Thank you very much.